Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, today I'm going to show you the second theorem under sampling distribution. Right? Um, so, we already looked at the first uh, theorem in the previous video. So, the second theorem tells us uh, x, let x1, x2 until xn be defined as in theorem number 1. So, what theorem number 1 says to us is that x1 until xn are random sample random sample of size n from a normal distribution with mean equal to mu and the variance equal to sigma squared. So, then it says that in this theorem, well, let zi equal to xi minus mu divided by sigma are independently standard normal random variable where i equal to 1 until n and summation of zi squared is equal to as has a, a chi-squared distribution with n degree of freedom. So in this theorem, it tells us that when xi having a normal distribution with mean equal to mu and standard deviation equal to sigma squared and zi is a standard normal distribution with mean equal to 0 and variance equal to 1. When we square the zi, we will get a chi-squared distribution with 1 degree of freedom. And then when we take a summation of zi squared from i equal to 1 until n, then we will get the chi-squared distribution with n degree of freedom. So this is what we the theorem number two tell us, right? So how, how the we transform the normal distribution to chi-squared distribution, right? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to prove the theorem, right? So I'm going to use the moment generating function uh, method to solve for z square, right? So let begin m z square t is equal to expected value of exponential z square t, right? So then it will become when we expand the expectation value the integration from negative infinity to infinity because the z is came from a normal distribution, a standard normal distribution. So this one going to be exponential z square t multiply with f z with respect to z. Right. So before we solve the problem, let us recall something for normal distribution, density function for normal distribution, let's say fx is equal to 1 over uh, 2 pi square, uh, sigma squared, taking a square root, exponential negative xi, uh, x, actually negative x minus, minus mu squared divided by 2 sigma squared. This is the density function, probability density function for normal distribution, right? For standard normal distribution, fz, right, when mean equal to 0 and standard deviation and variance equal to 1, we become square root of 2 pi multiply with exponential negative z square divided by 2 sigma 2 sigma square means sigma is equal to 1 and divide by 2 only right so divide by 2 so this is the density function pdf for standard normal distribution right so so we know that for uh, density function for z is this one so we're going to plug in this value to this value right so it's going to be neg integration from negative infinity to infinity 
exponential z square t multiply with 1 over 2 pi taking the square root exponential negative z square over 2 with respect to z right so what i'm going to do now is to merge these two exponential together because it, it has the same base right so it become ne infinity to negative infinity to infinity 1 over 2 pi exponential z square t minus z square over 2 with respect to z and then what i'm going to do now i'm going to simplify this way this function right so it will become if I simplify this one, it will become, I'm going to take z outside, right? And then um, divide by 2, 1, minus 2t, taking a negative outside, right? So it will become like this. So our new function will be from negative integration from negative infinity to infinity, 1 over square root of 2 pi, exponential negative z square over 2 1 minus 2t with respect to z right so how to solve this one maybe uh we can solve it in hard way or we can solve it in a uh, smart way by using um by using integration calculus theorem right theorem so in integration calculus theorem says that when you have a integration of exponential negative a x square plus b x plus c with respect to x it will become square root of pi over a exponential neg no negative exponential of um, b squared minus 4ac divided by 4a so this is the theorem says for integration theorem calculus theorem so based on our um, problem this is our problem i'm going to try i'm trying to match with the theorem calculus integration calculus theorem so we're going to get um let's say i'm trying try to change the color so our our a for this one is negative no negative is actually one minus two t divided by two this is going to be our a uh, which is also equal to one over 2 multiply 1 minus 2t negative 1 which is I just take this down and we have no b and also c also don't don't have right so by using that theorem it will become 1 over 2 pi square root multiply with pi over um let's say um, it will become um, 1 over 2 multiply with 1 minus 2t negative 1 right and then the exponential uh, b is equal to 0 b is equal to 0 right uh, b 0 minus 4 a this is our a and c also 0 divide by or a right so anything divided by a zero a zero divided by anything is going to be zero and this one should be equal to exponential zero which is also equal to one right so we just get this one only one over two pi square root multiply with um this is square root right sorry for leave it behind so this is um, actually 
is going to be up here, right? So 2 pi divided by 1 minus 2t, right? So we can uh, eliminate neg uh, 2 pi and 2 pi. We will get um, square root of 1 over 1 minus 2t is also equal to 1 minus 2t negative 1 over 2. Right. By comparing this one, this is uh, based on a uh, moment generating function. By comparing to this one, we will look like uh, gamma distribution, beta t negative alpha. So when alpha equal to 1 over 2, it will become a chi squared with 1 degree of freedom. Right. So we already proved half of the theorem. In this theorem, it says that the summation of uh, z square is equal to chi squared with n degree of freedom, right? So what we need to do is uh, we're going to we're going to let um, y equal to summation of z i squared, where i equal to one until n. So I'm I'm going to use Melman generating function of y so we will get m y t which is equal to exponential um 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 i'm sorry no no exponential actually the summation in this theorem will be uh, product of z i squared which is in this case that i square will be uh, 1 minus 2t negative over 2 so i from 1 until n so it will become 1 minus 2t negative n over 2 so it will it is, by this is already proved that when we take a summation of z square will become a chi square distribution with n degree of freedom so if you notice that the the, the function uh, the value here is represent a degree of freedom for chi square distribution so i think that's all for theorem number two um so we will continue on theorem number three um on next video okay Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum. -bye.